Rett disorder has only been reported in females and is usually associated with severe to profound mental retardation. These girls usually function normally for the first five months of life. Then their head stops growing and they develop hand movements with no purpose, gradually becoming midline hand wringing and hand washing movements. They stop all social engagement and have poorly controlled body movements and severe impairment in language development. Serious associated medical concerns include seizures, breathing problems, and some increased risk of sudden cardiac death. Scoliosis is often present. While girls with Rett disorder have a progressive downhill course, some survive to childhood. Childhood disintegrative disorder is marked by normal development until at least age two, then a progressive loss before age 10 of skills in communication, social interaction, behavior, self-help skills, and adaptive functioning. This disorder is associated with severe mental retardation and with an increased risk of seizures. Most children and adolescents with this disorder eventually stabilize and stop getting worse, but a few have progressive degeneration and die early. Asperger disorder had become diagnosed far more frequently in recent years than earlier. These individuals have impaired social interaction and restricted, repetitive, and stereotyped patterns of behavior, interest, and activities. They do not have any significant delay in language development or ability to think. Their adaptive skills may be normal other than social interaction, and they may have curiosity about their environment. Clumsiness is common, but not universal. Long-term outcomes of Asperger disorder are not well defined, but impairment in social interaction is thought to be a lifelong problem. Pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified, is considered a residual diagnostic category for persons with some of the symptoms, signs of the other PDDs, but not enough to make a specific diagnosis. Thank you.